What's going on, Jeff fans? So uh, we can't just lose in tragic fashion. Now we need a good old Jets Twitter conspiracy theory. And I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I made my rant video right after the loss. I'm uh, going to finish watching the All-22 today, tomorrow. And my video on that won't be positive about the offense. But I don't know how we go from we're going to win the division to seasons over like every other week. I don't know, man. We're 4-4 four and four without Rodgers. Uh, we're... I would pick us to beat the Raiders. You know, we don't have an offense. Okay. They don't have a quarterback or a coach and we have a great defense. We're going to be favored in that game. Probably be five and four. Now, can I in good conscience pick the Jets to make the playoffs right now? No, because we can't score touchdowns, but I'm not, I'm not canceling the season personally. Um, but uh, now we got the new story is with a quarterback and Robert Sala was asked by Michael Kay. Uh, hey, why haven't you given Trevor Simeon a shot? You know, you gave Mike White a shot last year and you know, passing offense got better. Why not give Simeon a shot? And Robert Sala said, I don't know. He said, you got me. And he said, I plead the fifth, which, you know, part of me when I first heard it was like, all right, is that just like an exhausted head coach just giving a, but man, I plead the fifth. <laughs> that's, that's literally what you say when you have information that you're withholding because you don't want to incriminate yourself or somebody else above you. So I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, someone above Robert Sala, be it Joe Douglas, Woody Johnson, the president of the United States, whatever we can speculate, um, is is saying you got to ride it out with Zach. And I think that if I had to guess, I think that their, their strategy probably from, if I had to just guess, I would probably say Joe Douglas, honestly. I know everyone's saying Woody, but uh, did you hear how Woody talked about the quarterback situation at the end of last year? You know how bad Woody wanted uh, Aaron Rodgers, so... Um, if I had to guess their outlook on the quarterback situation heading into the year was, look, we're going to go with Rodgers. We're going to try to win a Super Bowl. If Rodgers goes down, um, instead of maybe having a higher floor, more experienced, a uh, little bit more expensive backup quarterback uh, that could you know, marginally increase the win total, uh, increase the chances of making the playoffs. Instead of that, we're going to try to squeeze whatever possible chance there is left that Zach Wilson would make, at least statistically, probably the biggest career turnaround of a quarterback since Zach Wilson's been born. You know, I don't think there's been a guy who has stats have been this bad who, who turned it around to be the long-term solution for the team that drafted him since maybe Steve Young in the 80s. So they're like, we're going to take whatever chance that is that that could happen. Um, and all right, I, I don't think it's a horrible strategy if if Rodgers want, uh, goes down for a month and you kind of want to see what you have in Zach. And it's been proven that Zach can be a, a guy who can be as a backup quarterback can go out there. And if Rodgers has to miss a month, can make sure you don't go zero and uh, one and three, zero and four. That's proven, right? They're four and four with uh, with Zach. And I, I don't. I've said many times I don't think Zach is the only problem with this offense. There's been many. In fact, there's been many games where I don't even think he's the first or second. Uh, biggest problem in terms of the fact that he's a backup quarterback. And I don't think most backup quarterbacks around the league would be doing things a ton differently given the circumstances. That's just my opinion. You could say I'm apologizing for him. I killed the kid last year. I pretty much wrote him off as a number two overall pick. But if you want to pick the middle of the pack backups around the league and throw them in here or throw Trevor Simeon in there and think it's going to be a lot better behind that offensive line and with this coaching staff and with the receivers having the dropsies, I just don't believe that to be true. Now, I'd be interested to see it just to know, but I don't believe that to be true. Um, but at the same time, at the same time, you, you kind of have to judge, judge the process and the planning a little bit. And I do think it was kind of poor process and poor planning to not at least once Rodgers goes down, you know, now you don't need a um, you don't need a backup quarterback. You, you kind of need a, a starter as close as you can get to one. And they they kind of balked at the chance to at least get some competition in there um with Zach Wilson if if crap does hit the fan or if you just need to make a change to give a spark and you saw I saw Baker Mayfield last year come in and win a game on no notice Josh Dobbs you know same thing and he was had for pennies and allegedly Jacoby Brissett could have been had or and Carson Wentz who okay he's trash but I don't know man he's like 18 months removed from what would be like the second best Jets quarterback season in 20 years <laughs> you know what I mean uh so it seems like to me if I had to guess they kind of when they brought in Simeon and look I know there's a lot of tangents here, but I want to make sure I cover 
all the stuff because I can, I can hear the comments already. And I appreciate you guys watching, but sometimes, man, it's like I feel like people don't listen before they, they start typing away. Um, I don't think Trevor Simeon, it, it, look, he was he couldn't win a job in Cincy as a backup. He There's been more quarterback injuries this year than I can ever remember, and he's been sitting on our practice squad um, unclaimed. Now, if they make a quarterback change just to say want to mix something up, I, I'd be for it. That's fine. Um, but I don't think it's a, ma a magic elixir to all of our problems. Um, and and I, I do think that part of the Simeon signing was we're not going to bring in somebody who could really rock the boat and really push Zach. Because even like name recognition, like Carson Wentz, right? If the offense is sputtering, the fans are chanting, we want Carson. Um, the, the beat reporters are more on top of it. We want, uh, Why is Carson Wentz not? It's more of a thing. Right, but with Simeon, it's not as much of a thing, and they won't even put him as the backup. Trevor Simeon is is better than Tim Boyle. I'm at least confident in that. I'm at least confident in that. But if they do that, then that's like the first step, right? Just like Mike White going from practice squad to backup quarterback last year before he got a chance to start. And I think they don't want to hurt Zach's feelings, and I think they're kind of babying him, and it's insulting to Zach. I don't think Zach Wilson is Zach, is Zach Wilson really that soft to where if they make Trevor Simeon the backup quarterback, he's going to go out there and play worse. If that's the case, then he ain't it anyway. You know, the way they treat this kid is is really insulting. Um, but anyway, that's my two cents on that whole situation. And uh, we'll talk all soon. Go Jets.